What's up everybody? I'm Sam from Temper Rich Gifts. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own candle labels. So all we're going to need for this is just a little bit of creativity, some Avery labels, and some free software from Avery.com. So let's climb inside the computer and see what Avery.com is all about. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do obviously is go to uh, Avery.com. Now you will have to create an account. It's a free account. It doesn't cost you anything to open or maintain the account. And it creates your own project list where you can store all of your work. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account, and we are signed in. So the first step in designing our labels is to go over here to Templates. We're going to go to Find a Template, and from here we can see the different product categories. If we don't already know exactly what we're looking for, we can at least look around in here and narrow it down until we find what we actually want for the project we're working on. So let's say we want to do a mason jar candle. We want to do a label for the lid. Well, obviously that's going to be round, so we're going to go to the round labels. And we can scroll through the different options, looking at the dimensions, the paper type, number of labels per sheet, until we actually find what we want. So for this project, we're going to be using template number 22830. And incidentally, in case anybody was wondering, I have chosen 22830 specifically for this video because it just happens to be the exact perfect size for a standard size mason jar lid. So for those of you making mason jar candles, there's your bonus tip for the day. All right, let's hop back into the computer. So 22830 is going to work out great for us. Before we move on to the next screen, I do want to point out uh, some of these templates are available with the WePrint option. Basically what that means is you can either print it yourself or this is one of the products that Avery.com offers to print for you. So let's say you didn't have a printer. You can still design your uh, template and then just purchase the uh, finished product from Avery.com. So however we choose to uh, purchase or print it, we've got to design it first. So to get started doing that, we're going to go ahead and Click on the template we want, and go ahead and start designing, and that brings us to uh, page one of our design dashboard. Now these are the different design templates that are available for this specific product. Now every product number is going to have a different set of designs available for it. Uh, 22A30 happens to be one of the more popular ones, so it's got quite a few. It's got over 1,300 designs that you can actually choose from. So pretty much any design you want for your label, you're going to be able to find it. Uh, a couple different ways we can do that. We can uh, just go through the list. It gives us some uh, different categories we can look in. We can just scroll through the entire list ourselves. Or if we have something specific in mind, there is a quick search option. So let's say we want our candle labels to be for a rainbow candle. You just type rainbow into the search bar, and it'll bring up just about every rainbow related template that it has. So of the rainbow templates that it's given us, let's say we like this one the best. We'll go ahead and select that as our design. Now it moves us on to the uh, customization tab, which is where we will begin to uh, design our candle label to look exactly how we want it. Now the great thing about the preset designs is they are still in layers, so we still can do some customization to them, even though they're kind of already preset. Uh, for example, let's say I love this background, but that unicorn is just weird. So we can actually get rid of the unicorn. Let's say, I do want lettering on the label, but I'm not ready for it, and I don't really like that font. So we can actually go ahead and get rid of that as well. So this is now my blank slate, if you will. I'm ready to start customizing it and making it look exactly how I want. Many different ways we can do that. And for that, we're going to be using this sidebar over here. Uh, let's start with the image. We got rid of the one unicorn, but I still want something in the middle. So let's check out our options there. Click on image, go to add image. And it brings up the uh, different options we can choose from. So the first half is going to be our computer file. Let's say we have a uh, file saved on our computer that we want to add. We're going to go and look for the file. And there it is. There's my little unicorn man doing the dab dabbing or whatever you call it. We can use the uh, dimension markers to resize it if we wanted to. Move it pretty much anywhere we wanted to. We're just going to place it there. And from here we can move on and add text or other elements to our design. But I don't really like that one. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of him. We're going to go back to our images. Now we're going to check out our Avery Gallery. And here it has tons of designs. 
and images that we can use that are all totally free from Avery.com. As you can see over here to the right, it's got different categories that it breaks it down in. So pretty much anything you were looking for, you should be able to find it in one of these categories. Let's go back here and for some reason this little hippo is speaking to me. We're going to go ahead and select him. It'll add him to our design and again we can resize it and place it wherever we want. And we like him right about there. Actually, let's make him a little bit bigger. So now that we have our background and our design set, we need to add our text to the label. Because without text, it's really just a sticker. And because it's a product label, it has to say something. So we're going to go over to our text. We're going to add our text box. And it'll come up there. I'm going to highlight it and change it to what we want it to say. All right, so we've got it to say happy birthday. We're going to make birthday candles, apparently. Now, it says what I want, but it just doesn't look right. I don't like the color. I don't like the font. So we need to change that. To change the color, we'll just come over here to the color wheel. And here is where we change that. It's got a series of more popular preset colors. We can pick one of those if we like. It automatically changes it for us. We'll just click Apply. Or if for some reason we were looking for a more specific color, we can actually go up to our color wheel. Click anywhere on the color wheel we want, click and drag to get the exact shade that we are looking for. So I think I like that one. So we're going to go with that one. I'm going to apply that. And there's our happy birthday text in the exact shade we wanted. Now that looks okay-ish, but because we're doing a round label, we do have the option of adding curved text. So we're going to go and get rid of that. Back to our text, we're going to go to Add Curve Text. So there is the curve text that we wanted. It's at the wrong part of the label, though. Easy enough to fix. We'll just go down here to the uh, orientation. And we can add it to the bottom. Now it's actually put it backwards. But we can fix that right here. And just like that, we have our text curved at the bottom the way we want it. Now we can just add our text back. So it says what we want. We've got it where we want. It's the color that we want. But that text is just horrendous. So we're going to go over to our to our font options. It's got maybe 30 different fonts you can choose from. You can scroll down. You can click on each one. It'll preview it for you. And once you're happy with it, you can just let that be. I think I liked the luckiest guy the best. So that is going to be our text font. And if we weren't happy with the size, we can re-highlight it, go over to our text size, and different sizing options we can choose from. This is a good place to point out the safety line. You can notice it forms a box right here. That is the safety dimensions of that particular element we are adding to the uh, label. So let's say we thought about making our text a little bit bigger. As you can see, that has triggered a safety warning. Uh, the text is going out of the safety area. You can see the safety area box will come up. All these red lines will come up. And that will actually give you a warning down here telling you what the problem is. Uh, what's happened is the text has gone out of our safety area. That dotted circle right there, that's actually the outer dimension of our label. So if we were to leave that as it is, it will let us leave that. But when we printed it, uh, that part of it is going to be cut off. So we're going to resize our text to the proper size. So we've got our background, our design, our text, but now we need to personalize it just a little bit. So let's just say these are going to be birthday candles for a kid's birthday party. And there's going to be several little girls at the party. Each one gets their own candle. We're going to go ahead and add another text box. And we're going to add the little girl's name. Go ahead and resize it. Make it look a little bit better. Okay, so now we've got it personalized, but our color reverted back to black. We want it to have the same color as the happy birthday. That is super easy to do. We're just going to click on the happy birthday. It brings us back to the options we chose. We can go back into our color wheel. And the color code down here, each color has its own specific six-digit code. So to copy that code to use it again, we're just going to uh, highlight it. Right-click copy. Cancel out of that. Now we're back on the name portion. We want to customize the color of that. We'll just go down to our color block. Paste the color that we used. 
and apply. There we go. Now they're the same color. And those are the basics of designs, folks. There's a million other uh, features in this software that you're never going to use. But for someone just starting out, this is really all you need. Uh, we checked out the template. We chose the size and the template that we needed. Uh, took us to our design page. We chose the exact design that we wanted. Uh, once we got to customize it, we can customize any type of design or lettering that we want. Just one more thing to show you. There are different editing options uh, for one sheet of labels. For this particular template, it comes with nine labels per sheet. Well, so since these are personalized candles for a birthday party, we're going to need each one to say a different little girl's name. So since there's going to be nine people at the party, we need nine different names on nine different labels. Well, we don't want to print off nine different sheets because then we'd have eight labels for Jill. When we only needed one, that would be a lot of waste. So what we can do is go over here to the uh, Edit One tab. Now we can highlight each individual label that we want to customize. It shows us over here that particular label. We're going to leave that one as Jill. Uh, we can move on to this one. That is label two of nine. So we can customize this with a different name. And we can just do the same for each label on that sheet. And even though I wasn't invited to the party, I want my own candle. Now, rather than printing off nine sheets that we don't need, we have one sheet customized with nine different labels. So we're completely done. We're very happy with the way it looks. Now we can just go to a preview and print. It's going to preview it for us. This is what it's going to look like when it prints. And here are our printing options. Uh, we can print it ourselves. Or like I said before, this is one of the uh, WePrint options that Avery.com offers. So if we didn't have a printer or we didn't or we didn't want to print this ourselves, we can actually purchase this sheet of labels from Avery.com. And their price list varies for each different template, but it's going to look something like this. Minimum order is 18, so it would be two sheets of labels, different paper options. So we can get anywhere from 18 labels all the way up to 1,008 labels. But since we are set up to print these ourselves, that's what we're going to do. Let's click on print. Now, if for some reason the uh, labels were misaligned on your printer, you can actually go in here and make different printer adjustments to kind of fine tune it to get it perfectly centered. These are already lined up for my printer, so we're going to go to print now. And it gives you the option to save. Uh, this is what I was saying earlier when you had to sign up for your account. You actually kind of created your own uh, project folder. We're going to save those to our account. And those are saved to our account. Let's go ahead and uh, see what that looks like. We're going to go to Open. And this is all of the projects that we have saved. Open that back up. So we can design it today. We can come back tomorrow, next week, or a year from now, and it'll still be there in our project folder waiting on us to print. One last preview before we print it. And now we're going to print it just like we would anything else. And there we go folks, designed and printed ourselves. Now we are ready to label our candles. There we go. Nothing to it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, if there's something I didn't answer, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post three videos a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you guys make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications. Uh, feel free to like and share my videos anywhere on your social media. If you guys are new, after you subscribe, make sure you check out my playlist. Got tons of great videos and a lot of information in there. So you guys make sure you check all that out. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.